are back in the Wadigans, one of the prime riding areas near Sydney. The invite came from Cameron Graham from O1 Moto, and he's lent me this Italian princess for the day. Cameron is one of those old style dealers with great after sales support to the extent where he regularly organises these rides for all his customers and even subsidises training days with Tim Coleman. And man, does Cameron need the training. Look, he might be a great dealer, but look at the poor form and style through this easy section of track. You can see why they call him a prize muppet and king of the Gumbies. Some interesting news too, Cameron has just become a gas gas dealer. So with a bit of luck, I might get a gas gas loan bike next time I'm down. become quite keen on the Spanish Stallions since that recent review we did. Talking of Muppets, some idiot has pointed his helmet cam a bit low for some of this video footage. But as they say, if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Last week, our little riding group were talking about what a crazy sport this dirt riding is. You spend a gazillion dollars on your bike, riding gear and transport devices. Then there's the long drive out to riding areas, the laborious process of putting on all that protective gear. Then there's the long drive home, washing the bike, washing your gear, and all that maintenance and prepping for the next ride. We worked out if we do a fairly short ride, sometimes there's at least six hours into prepping and everything needed to just ride for three hours. Non-riders say we are crazy, and of course this is true. We limp into work on Mondays, bruised and battered, looking for sympathy from co-workers <laughs> who are sick of us whinging and whining about bruises and aches. We have no one to blame for except ourselves. But then they don't know what a high you can get from cruising through beautiful forests, challenging and conquering various obstacles, all in the company of other idiots who are probably even more mentally unbalanced than you are. It's an awesome experience. And I doubt many of us would want to be doing anything else on Sundays. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>